All right, so welcome to this video, 30 exact steps to sell web design successfully. What we're gonna be covering is this checklist I've done up because I get this question a lot. What should you be focusing on when you first start selling web design to be able to do it successfully? What I've done is 30 different items, five different stages. You work your way through this checklist and you're gonna get there in the shortest amount of time possible. All right, so welcome to this video. As I said in the intro, I get this question a lot. A lot of people starting web design feel super frustrated. They're putting in all this work, but they're not too sure if they're making any progress or if they're putting the work into the right places. There's a lot of different things when you first start web design. You know, do you start networking? Do you start learning sales straight away? Do you start learning to code? How much code do you learn? What coding languages do you focus on? All these different things. If you don't have a plan, it can definitely feel like you're doing all this stuff and you just don't even know, is it paying off or is it gonna go anywhere? So with this video, what I've done, and you can check out the link below, is a full checklist that you just basically stick on the wall, follow the checklist, and you're gonna make a ton of progress in the shortest amount of time. Now with this checklist, there's a full guide as well, so check out that link down below. What I'm gonna cover in this video is the different stages and the overall idea, but it's broken down in a lot more detail in the guide and in the checklist itself. So check that out in the link below. So let's get into the first stage. All right, so the first stage is getting started. I'm not gonna break down this list item by item, but the general idea here is you just learn enough to get going. So you want to get into selling as fast as possible and building real projects, but you gotta have some base idea of knowing what you're doing, how to build a website, how to get it online, how to get it working. So in this section, you're gonna cover a few different things, learning the basics of HTML and CSS, how to code a simple website, how to use a theme, how to buy a domain and hosting, and then how to get the website online and make sure that it's working. If you can do this, you now know enough to go out there and contact a real business and get started with building them a real website. So this is where you gotta start. If you don't know how to do these basics, you're gonna find it very difficult when you start working with a real business to actually deliver some sort of website, some sort of result. So this is the very first stage that you wanna focus on. If you can do this, you're ready to move into the next stage. Now the next stage is the fundamentals. In this stage, what you're gonna do is take what you learned in the very first stage, and then you're gonna go out there, you're gonna contact a business using your network more than likely, offer to build them a simple website that can help them with some of the problems that they're having, and then basically design a simple project plan, get them to commit to that plan so they're gonna stick with you while you're working on that project, then go ahead, build them a simple website, help them with the challenges that they're having in their business, and then get that website live and operational. So what you're doing in this stage is you're taking the basics that you know and you're applying it to a real business. Ultimately, web design is not about what you can code or design, it's about how you can help real people. And if you wanna get good at web design and you wanna start making money from web design, you gotta be able to produce a result from what it is that you're building. So it's great to practice in the beginning and to know you can do it in theory, but as soon as possible, and that's what you're doing at this stage, you wanna get out there, work at a real business, solve some real problems, even if they're very basic problems, but you're starting to learn how to offer real value, how to provide a real solution through the work that you're doing. So with this in mind, what you're gonna do in the next stage is you're gonna learn how to create results. Basically, this is a massive big skill in web design is delivering something through the website. So it's not just you selling a website X amount of pages and it looks cool. It's something the business can actually use to get more sales, to get more customers, to grow their business and to make it an easier business for them to run. If you can do that with a web design, then you're worth something to a business and they're gonna be really, really interested in how much you can help them and they're gonna to wanna to pay you for that help. So in this section, and again, I'm just running through the checklist pretty fast, so check out the link below for the full checklist, but you're using your network to find another business. This time you're focusing much more on a business that needs more sales. You're gonna to talk to that business owner, you're gonna figure out how you can help them to get more sales you're gonna create a project plan, outlining the problems, talking about, again, how you're gonna create sales for them. You're gonna go ahead, build that website for them with that strong focus on sales. Then you wanna get the website live and operational online. And the final thing with this stage is you wanna start learning how to track results. So as a web designer, you're gonna be worth more money if you can deliver better results. A part of that though is understanding how to actually track results and to know that you are actually causing those results through the work that you did. If you can directly show that your web design, your website has helped somebody in X amount of ways, then that means that you can now start charging more money in the future. So that's a really, really important skill to have, knowing how to track results and link those results to the work that you did 
through the website or whatever it is that you offered. So check out the guide again for more details on that, but you really wanna start learning how to do that from the early stages of growing a web design business. The big thing for this stage is once more helping out a business, but more specifically with sales this time and learning how to track that you actually delivered on what it is that you said that you would do and how much you're able to help them. If you can do that, you're ready for the next stage. The next stage is working on your skills. So you're gonna take at this stage, the base level that you have, and you're gonna work on improving it a lot more. How you're gonna do that is you're gonna look for a business that really needs help with sales. So in the last section, we're kind of looking for somebody you know generally needs help with sales. This time we're looking for someone who really urgently needs help. What we're gonna do is once more have a sales meeting with these people. We're gonna get much more into the business problems and the potential that exists with that business. We're gonna come up with a detailed project plan this time we're gonna focus on creating a budget. We wanna start increasing our prices as we get into this stage. I'm gonna show you how to do that in the guide. Then you wanna close the client on the budget, get a partial payment up front. And with this stage, once more, you're gonna track results, but what you're also gonna do, and I'm gonna show you how to do this in the guide, is learn how to start making a case study out of the work that you're doing. So results by themselves, it's great that you can track them and you know how to, you know, we did this thing with the website but you gotta be able to turn that into a compelling story. You gotta be able to turn around and when you talk to the next business owner, make them relate to and be eager to get those same results for themselves. How you do that is a case study. You make it into a compelling story, something that a business owner, another business owner can emotionally connect to and that's gonna be very sellable when you talk to them. So that is the difference with this stage, stepping it up once more learning how to sell on a more advanced level, learning how to produce even better results from the web design that you're doing, and then how to turn that into these sellable case studies that you can use to leverage into future projects. All right, the final stage with this is learning how to master sales and learning how to master creating results. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take what we learned so far and we're gonna repeat it a couple of times. We're gonna get a nice portfolio going of successful projects. On top of that, we're gonna start learning sales more specifically, we have some things here, sales books, taking a proper sales course, learning one additional web skill so you can offer more value with your web design projects. And then at this stage, joining and getting involved with some networking groups, either online or offline or both, because you wanna have that experience. You wanna one, be connecting with different business owners, but two, also connecting with other people who sell services online so you can learn from them and you can see what's working for them and what's not, and you can provide value with them as well. It's always good to have a good network. And that brings us to the last thing on this checklist, which is basically ticking off the box that you sold your first website for $1,000 or more. Now, I think if you follow the checklist and you work your way through the guide, you're gonna be able to do a lot better than $1,000 over time, but it's a great first goal to have. If you get to that point, you're gonna find that things progress a lot faster past that stage. So that is it for this video. Really hope that that checklist helps you out, gives you something clear that you can work your way through. You can hit that first big goal and then you can keep going past that stage. So let me know what you think below. Check out the links below this video for both the guide and the checklist. I'll catch you in the next video.